Right then, welcome back. Today, well today, two things, two things. One, we're doing the ZX6R Cup, some good tracks, Magni Calls, Brands Hatch, Canadian Time Expert Park. But two, we're on Xbox Series X. Yes, I finally managed, finally managed to get one. It only took, what, nearly a year? Um, we'll talk about that in a bit. But anyway, first up, Time Attack, no, not Time Attack, Race, Canadian Tire Motorsport Park. We're going to use that, the 2014 ZX6R Ninja 636. What a mouthful that is. So, there are quite a few differences between Xbox One X and Xbox Series X. One, the graphics are beautiful, absolutely stunningly beautiful. Two, the controller no longer drifts to the right on my left stick, which is a pleasure. And three, the AI are a bunch of bastards. They are much faster, like much, much, much faster. And they do not give a shit. They will just ride straight through you. So attempt one, lap one, we're in second, run onto the curb, we're off. Attempt number two, lap five. Yes, boys and girls, lap five. Towards the end of the race, and I just drop it. I had a point through for second penalty as well, so I was probably not going to make it, but yeah, it is what it is. So we do a bit of tweaking, a bit of twonking. We're on rain ties, not like we can do about that, and we go again. So attempt number three. Now, now it goes all right to start with. We go off a line. We have a little bit of a ding dong, not a massive one. Um, but the bike's quite quick, but we do we do make a bit of a horlix of it part way through. But but. But, all's well that ends well. And we are done, done. Another thing that's different that I've noticed, the flames out the exhaust are blue. Blue and orange and red and everything else rather than just an orange blob of flame. So, yeah. I mean, I wish they'd fix the AI and I wish they'd fix some of the problems on the tracks rather than just putting blue flames out the exhaust. But hey, beggars can't be choosers. It is what it is. So, next one, Brands Hatch. And I, 
I didn't want to run them in order of years. I didn't want to do them in order of performance points. I didn't want to do blah, blah, blah. So I've gone side exhaust, under seat exhaust, side exhaust, under seat. I, I don't know. I just tried to mix it up. But we're going for that, the 2008. Not not the best looking ZX6R, I must admit. However, it is the quickest. Um, well, it's got the most performance points. Uh, it's also feisty. It likes to wheelie, really likes to wheelie, which is weird for a 600 because normally they've got about as much torque as a small fly but this one yeah this one we do it first time and i didn't enjoy the bike as much as i thought i would but it's fast but good grief for the ai quick
finally done and well that was some effort wasn't it i know i made a mess i get that i guess i get i made a mess of it but normally you make a mess you get back on and i'm past them within a lap i just is it because the series x can process more data that the ai better have milestone just turned the wick up and made them faster because i think when well, you bought an xbox series x so you deserve the game to be harder i don't know but anyway next one magni core now i know i like magni core i ooh, it's probably it's probably my favorite track or oh, or is it umc i'm not sure it's probably my favorite track but anyway we're going to use that the beautiful the stunningly beautiful 2019 zx6r we'll go for that and if we use this as a bit of a litmus test if the ai are given me grief on here then there's something seriously different if i just vanish into a cloud of dust into the distance and win by 20 odd seconds then it might just be that the controller feels slightly different than it's a bit x and y and z and, and whatever else but magni cores on a properly screamy zx6r I think it might be that the pad feels slightly different because I've taken the piss out of them there. 20, nearly 30 seconds, 28 seconds over five laps. That is a vast, vast lead indeed. I don't know, it might just be the controller. I was waiting to see until I've done a few more events, but the graphics are just beautiful. The load times as well. <gasps> I hate the load times on Ride 4. 
on the Xbox One. On this thing, not an issue. You click it, the thing spins around twice, off you go. Right, onto the race bikes. So, we're going to go the old one first, the 2005. Just, I don't know, because it's an underseat pipe bike and I've just done one with a side pipe, probably. So, we're going to go for that and we're at Road Atlanta. Now, Road Atlanta, time attack, can be a bit hit and miss. Struggle to get heat in the tyres here. And another thing I've noticed with this, the preload plays more of a factor on tyre temps. So I might I might have a look and, and see what we're doing, but we'll see. Anyway, attempt one, we don't do it. I don't really know why. It was just, just look at the pimples on the screen. And that's the difference. It's not a massive difference. You can see the stitches in his suit. It's just... It's just crisp, but it's just nicer. But anyway, we missed it. It was just a slow lap. I'm not sure why. It was just one of them weird things. Um, but we go again, and we're after a 130, what, 130.3. That's a quickish lap. That's not a walk in the park. So let's see how we go. And we are done. We are done, we are done, and um, we did it. What, by what, four seconds, three seconds, four seconds? Something like that, 126, four, yeah, three, nearly four seconds. So, that's absolutely fine, it was all right. I need a few laps on that track, on different bikes, I just, it's very different to when you're playing it on Forza, or a Seto Corsa, or something like that, it just feels like a different, but last one. Suzuka, there, put my teeth in, Suzuka circuit, we're going to use that, the race version of the 29 team bike, the black and green, that, that's pretty, if that was uh, in BSB or World Superbikes it would look very nice indeed, we're racing at night so tyre temps might be a bit of an issue, blanks late for setup. so we're somewhere in the middle between needing a lot of front end, not a lot of front end and X and this and that and the other so this is what it is, we'll give it a bash. Attempt number one, it's pitch black. The biggest difference between the two consoles is the dark. I mean, look at the state of that. You can't see anything. So attempt one, we spanner it on lap one. It's not great. Um, AI are quick, they're very fast again, but it's just the darkness. I might have to turn the contrast up, but then it might wash it out. I don't know, I'll have a play. But anyway, Suzuka in the dark, I apologise you can't see anything on a race modified ZX6R.
it's done, I think. I think it's done. I'm not sure. I can't see anything. It's too dark. Yeah, it's done. It's done. We did it by miles. What? 20 odd seconds, 17 seconds in the end. So, yeah, endurance races are going to be fun because you can't see cock all. Yeah, we don't have a problem. Uh, but it is what it is. Good event, very good event. Liked it. Good tracks, decent bikes, nice mix. And I will probably give it a go with some other bikes just to race Magni Cores because that's my favourite. But anyway, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to leave me a comment, let, you know, let me know how you're getting on. And if you've liked it, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe because we're going to do them all. So, fingers crossed, I will see you next time. Stay safe. Peace. Bye.